Okay, teachers, this is a short video to show you how to set an alternative host for your Zoom meeting. We need you to do this so that other people can open your Zoom meeting, specifically um, your impacts up. Okay, so here's how you do it. First, go to the valverde.zoom.us website and log in. This should be the way you log in all the time. And once you've logged in, now teachers have two basic ways that they're setting up their meetings. Sometimes they're starting from the meetings tab and then scheduling a meeting and setting the time for that meeting. That's sometimes what teachers do. If that's the case, then scroll down to the bottom and notice that it says at the bottom here, it says alternative hosts. Please note that I would like you to please put in at least three um, alternative hosts. That will be myself, Ms. Driver, and the impact sub that's going to be um, serving for your sub that day. Now, you have to put in the entire um, email address and separate, separate addresses by commas. Once you do that, now in this case, I can open your meeting, Ms. Driver can open your meeting, and Ms. Ngo can open your meeting. Now, why is an alternative host so important? It's different than a co-host. You can make somebody a co-host and they can't open the meeting. Only the alternative host and the host can open the meeting. That's why we need this. Okay, so once you're done with that, don't forget to click save, and then we'll have at least three alternative hosts who could open up your meeting. All right, but there is another way that people can do this, another way that uh, teachers set up their meetings. And that is using the personal room. So if you're doing that with your personal room, then you're using a meeting ID code then the way you set up the alternative host here is to click the edit button at the bottom, wait for that to come up, and then enter alternative host here in the same way that you did uh, when you were scheduling a meeting. Once again, please put in at least three, myself, Ms. Driver, and the impact sub. Don't forget to save it, and once you do that, then there, that means that there are now three people, well, including yourself, there are three people who could start a meeting using your personal room in Zoom. And that's what we need. Okay, if you have any questions about how to do this or you're having trouble doing it, please let me know and I'll definitely help you out. But we for sure need you to do this. Okay, thanks a lot.